All right, folks. It is, um... Well, I'm watching the Bruins game, and I figured I'd do another reaction, because, I don't know, it's fun. The Bruins are up 5-1 right now against the, um, Detroit Red Wings. There's about a minute... There's a minute 22 left in the game. Yeah. All right, the, uh, the game is on. Everyone's got those all in the bag. Taylor Hall skates down to the red line. Connor Clifton back down to Taylor Hall. Taylor Hall in the slot takes a shot. Huso saves it. Everyone's got those in the bag. Columbus, Pittsburgh, New York Rangers, Toronto, St. Louis, Calgary, and Buffalo. They got Columbus, Toronto, and Buffalo in the bag. Nah, I'm joking, but it's I, I think the Bruins are going to do very well. And um, my Stanley Cup predictions were right from last year. So, the Bruins are going to win the Stanley Cup. <sighs> nah, they got to win this game first, which they have. They won this game. It's in the bag. Four, 13 seconds left. Ooh, Craig Smith skates into the offensive zone. Bruins. Oh, no, there's a fight. <laughs> Trent Frederick. Yeah. Yeah, no. Uh, Craig Smith was checked while he was on the ice. He was like... Lying down, or not lying down, he did almost lying down, and he was checked. Uh, and in response, uh, Jacob Zborl and Trent Frederick kind of came in and pushed the guy around. And so, yeah, I think that's fair. So, uh, five seconds left in the game. Bruins have got this one in the bag. You need to score four goals in 5.6 seconds um, with a man down. Yeah, you know, I mean, I mean, it's ne they're never out of it, but <laughs> nah. The Bruins are going to improve it to seven and one. I think that's a pretty good record. So, um, yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be a talking about. This is this is this is gonna be a commentary. This is just the start of it. Bruins are doing so well. I'm so, I'm so excited. All right. Bruins are officially 6-1. and one. The fact that they're not 7-0 and oh makes me, or no, they're 7-1. and one. Yeah, they're 7-1. and Because they let up five. Or no, seven. They got up seven to the Ottawa Senators. How do you do that? All right. I'm going to wait for the Swayman and Omarki. It's my profile picture, I think. I think so. Here we go. And uh, there's Swayman starting today, which is really cool. Oh, and this was Brad Marchand's uh, return game. I think he was out with an injury before. <laughs> Oh, no. Where is it? Why in the know. Here it is. With the goalie hug. Best tendy duo in the nation. How about them Bruins? Woo! The Bruins 
at the filming of this video have improved to 7-1 with a 5-1 win over the Detroit Red Wings. Now, the Bruins have started this season off very strong, but their schedule is taking a little bit of a harder turn with a pretty long road trip, which, if my memory serves me correct, goes through Columbus, New York, Pittsburgh, and St. Louis. No. Columbus, New York, Pittsburgh, and then I think they come home to play St. Louis. Revenge game. I've never forgotten about 2019. Anyway, the Bruins are elite. They are top of the league elite. And that's not an exaggeration. Here, look. Top of the league, baby. How about that? You know, it's funny. I, I heard a lot of people saying, well, oh, the Bruins are going to fall off this season. Ha <laughs> ha. I didn't know best team in the league was falling off. With Brad Marchand returning and scoring two goals. Let's go, Brad. I mean, that was an, that was an amazing game. Bruins scored two goals in 35 seconds, I think. Yeah, I think it was two goals in 35 seconds. And yeah, I mean, all around great game. Capitalizing on the power play against Detroit, who had a, going into this game, a top five penalty kill unit. So, uh, you know, um, I don't have much to say. Great game, boys. Great start to the season. And uh, see you next time. And uh, go Bees.